Hey, this is Sharif with ADSR Sounds. And today in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show how to do mute automation inside of machine. Yes, mute automation using the audio mute parameters. Now machine doesn't natively have uh, mute automation implemented into the software, unfortunately not, but there is a workaround. And those who are familiar with the Akai MPC series, um, this is implemented in their software from day one, having mute automation. Basically, recording your mutes. So for quick arrangement, quick drops with drums or other instruments, it's pretty cool to have. So hopefully they'll have that soon. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with uh, built-in parameters inside of a machine. You don't need anything third party, even though there's some, some stuff out there, uh, like a MIDI gate you can use inside of Reactor, which I will show someone uh designed it and it's pretty cool but i'm going to show something for those who don't have reactor or don't have the actual uh patch that was developed it's you can do something in here now unfortunately you cannot use the pads to do it but you can use the knob uh the eight knobs to use for uh, mute automation so i'm going to show you how to do it first i have a group in here you know have a kit that i put in here a little quick drum beat that i have in here and i'm just going to play a little bit real quick Okay, so with that, um, you know, I have my drum sounds. Okay, so they all are here. Now, what I did was created another group, uh, group B, which is a mute group. And in that, um, you know, I assigned uh, each sound on the sound level. <clears throat> each sound I ass assigned a gate I just put the gate there as having something so that group a can recognize the sounds or the tracks inside of group B because without an effect you have to um, it won't see it so you need this for the other group to reroute the routing um, output or what have you input output into another group so i just chose a gate um the gate is all muted as you see everything is bypassed in all the tracks i renamed the tracks just so i can have organization please do that it's important when you have bigger projects you would want to have you know things organized and labeled <laughs> so from there um here are my uh my drum sounds in my uh, main group and by doing the mute group and then having this gate again like i said for these sounds here to see so I can route to see these uh, mute group tracks inside of group B. So I go to channels, go to output, and say kick, kick one. I s boom, there you go. This is why having the gate or some effect, it doesn't matter what effect, it just bypass it. Um, you can always use it if you want to, but I'm not using that. That's not the purpose of it. I want to use it as a, you know, uh, a mute group. So kick mute, snare mute, and so forth. I have all of these labeled, and they're all are being rerouted on the sound level, right? Reroute it to destination mute group, right? So go down to the second one. Let me go to snare just to show it. And uh, there you go, right? So once that's there, they'll reroute it here. I mute these, mute the actual tracks. So then I can access and utilize this one here, the audio mute switches. Now, <clears throat> If I keep it on the sound level, I have to go to each one of them and adjust the audio mutes either with my, the mouse or with the hardware, which I want to use the hardware. So having it on each track is kind of cumbersome because you got to go to each track to enable or or disenable the uh, audio mute. So what I did was went to group, went down to macros and created a macro row on my group level on the mute groups that way i can have everything up front all you know all going in you know following each other and i can switch these off and on with my controller and everything's up front even if i wanted to use the mouse i can in mute the sound so i'm going to play one of them i'll play this and i'm going to mute some of them with the mouse and then we're going to do it with the hardware <laughs> So 
So that's using it with the mouse. Now I'm going to use it with the knobs on the uh, machine hardware, and I'm going to record the automation so you will see it and play it back. So start from the top. Here we go. Click on my auto for or shift auto to pin my auto button to record the automation. And, um, you know, I start this from the top. Here we go. So once that's all down, I can get out of auto and I can now begin to go on the sound level and you can see where all the automation is, has been written, right? Off and on switches, that's all. So I'm going to play it back. I have my automation recorded on each one of these sounds. Percussion I turned off, kick and drum, snare, the guitar. I had mute in and out. Um, and that's mute automation inside of machine using the audio mute switches. And lastly, adding these guys here, really simple. Um, I want to add, let's say I wanted to add another one. I go to select, choose whatever track that is, right? Let's say kick mute here again. I go to auto output, audio, and choose audio mute. There's a switch and then name it, which I did here. That allows to have these switches up front to be able to control all in one row.